start with the uh, Brightwell's main screen. As you can see, this is for the sale on Tuesday the 4th. Today is Monday the 3rd. And the sale starts at 11. So we'll start to scroll through. And uh, they've not been totally sorted yet by what I can make out, because um, there is a couple down the screen. Um, a couple of non-runners before these. Uh, I haven't seen any caravans or campers in it, because that's next week. Um, hopefully my caravan will be in next week. We are hoping. So we'll start off with a list. As you can see here, there's a few good ones in this week. And the guideline prices, they're, uh, they're, pretty, they're, they're pretty accurate with their guideline is what they want some sometimes if people want them it goes well over the top so uh, there, there's a lot here from the police uh, and then we've got one two I think it's four ambulances it yeah, three ambulances right three ambulances and uh, they're from the ambulance service not the mod this time uh, and we've got to government disposal which is government there's two vans there, two nice sprinters. Uh, by all counts, they are quite nice. I did show you those a fortnight ago. Uh, we got an ambulance, St. John's Ambulance Mark 6 Transit there, uh, number four, uh, 94. Uh, but it's got 112,000 on. Wait, which, for 2001, Mark 6. That's only just about run in for one of them. Uh, and then we've got uh, another one here. And this one stipulates that it's got the night heater in, hand basin. I doesn't say where it's from, but looking at the van, I would have said that's an ex-railway van or mess van of some type, because it's got the microwave, the water heater, um, hand base and wash basin, um, which is 12 volts. It heats the water 12 volts only when you're driving. Um, it got the night heater. It's ply lined and racked, so. We'll have a look at that when I go down there now in a while. Um, I'm a little bit running late, a little bit late this morning. It's now dead on nine o'clock. So we'll carry on scrolling a bit. There's a high roof rear wheel drive transit there on a 2006. Privately owned and entered. Um, got a Renault Master there. 2006. Uh, that one's a guideline of a thousand pound. Uh, keep on going. We got the Fiat Ducato. That's only got twelve hundred pound on the uh, the guideline on a two thousand and seven. Uh, it's a no brainer which one I'd be going for. Um, uh, the trouble is you got one hundred and thirty seven on. Well, that's not too bad. That's still not too bad. It depends on where it came from, like and how it's been treated. So that that little blue one, that little blue lot. 115 so far uh, it might change before the sale um that's a guideline of 800 quid on a 2006 it's got 200,000 and it is rusty so that's a warning <coughs> they've still got the uh the, those fridges in um from the atashi capital i think that's the lease company isn't it uh and then we go on to just one little van two three little vans and then we move over on to the 4B4s. So I say uh, they're not in order properly yet. Um, it, it, they should be, by the time I get back home, they should be back in order. Um, but I'm not going to record this again. So, right, I'll go down to Brightwells now for you. Right, we'll catch you in a while. Bye-bye. Right, let's start off. <laughs> Watching all that fun and commotion. Um, got this uh, Vauxhall in. Oh, she's alright on there. Got windows in the back, and I can see a dog cage in there. Yeah, it's got the police signs on it, so uh, where the stickers were. So that's not too bad. Hi. Two VWs that uh, the son-in-law has been going on about. A couple of ex-police 
I got uh, twin axle, twin wheel axle. Um, got the you know, rib nuts where the, uh, the lights have been on, the light covers have been on. Got the marks on the top where the cage has been slid up. And you know, they used to have the cage on the windows. It's just a few cosmetic things. Looks like it's been rattling around with the headlight. You can see the, the edge there, the scratch in there. But again, it's the same as the Sprinter. The rust behind those uh, plastic trims is a lot. Yeah, quite a lot. But, you know, for what it is, it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, Rever rear view mirror reversing uh, camera. Perspex. Yeah, Perspex windows. Only on the wind ups. Only on the wind-ups. The front ones are, yeah, they're, they're glass, I think. Well, they haven't uh, perished or anything. It's, uh, decent windows in the side, non-openers, but uh, they've, they've corroded around the edges a bit. They won't clean it up. They don't look as if they've leaked or anything. Got a uh, sticker of residue all over them. The mirrors aren't too good on the back on this one. Typical, the badge is moved, uh, is, uh, has gone. That's always typical of the uh, uh, these because that they're police. They're, they're the back doors are open and closed more than the rest with, uh, should we say, prisoner offenders. That one there is from. Uh, I'm going to use a Stanley knife on the edge. Master shock. Again, good typical rust spots down the sides. Driver's door is quite rusty around the outside of it. The drainage hole's not been uh, unblocked. Yeah, still covered in. They don't bloody wash them off after. I don't know why they don't. Yeah, they spent the money to uh, get it de-stickered. Won't. Uh, Get it washed right. There's a second one. That, that one's um, they're both 09, so that's uh, CVP and that's CVO. Right. How are you, Mr. David Bailey? You well? Uh, yes, thank I, you, sir. I, I've got the number out of my head now. So uh, I, I would have said more Arthur Daly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a little rest around there. This one's not quite so rusty on the uh, the plastic trims, but you can take it from me, it's under there. <coughs> a bit on the arch. New tyres on the back, but it looks. Yeah, pretty good on the back. Yeah. There they've de stickered. It's delaminated a bit. Yeah, that one's alright. Cumbria Constabulary. Again, I'll go around the other side. They use rib nuts this time on these, so that's better. But they still didn't treat them. Made a fair mess of the bonnet there, but that that'll sand off. That's, that's just uh, silicon, but it looks. Yeah. So we've got a loading light. Oh, the other one had this as well. Passenger doors, fucking mint, absolute mint. Nothing coming on that. Hmm? Well, just a little bit, and just a big spot. Yeah. Again, this this one hasn't been worn on the, the Perspex windows, so he's uh, not been up and down like a yo-yo. Got that too hot when they were peeling when they were de stickering, and uh, there's a split in the door there, rust in the back corner of it. The rails are okay. Yeah. I don't think they're open. I'll try the door. Oh, wow. Right. Now then. Storage rack there. Storage rack underneath it. Uh, diesel eater is in this one. It's behind the seat. So I, I would have said it's in the other one. Certainly Laura said it was. I got it to 212 volt. Three rear facing seats. 243. 
forward facing seats and both seats have got uh, 12 volt out, two 12 volt outputs 20 amps um, and a RCD tipper switch racking above air con above there's the uh, air con and the heater controls so that's pretty good if it's got air con on, on the top yeah, that's the alarm system oh we've got a red light as well what the hell there's, there's enough fluorescent tubes in here there's two three four five six six in the front alone right into the back into the racking that's where all their Voyot gear goes. Oh, echo! Yeah, that's where all their Voyot gear goes. And then we got the cage in the back. And the key comes with it. So, the answer is, is when you get locked up, have, make sure you have one of these keys. I can't get him open. Yeah. Oh, that's because he slides. There you go. Uh, and there's uh, room for two prisoners. They've recessed the LED lights in the back, and they are LED. They've recessed them to stop them breaking them. Uh, that's right. Oh, look, there's a cost of coffee there. Oh, uh, yeah, tidy enough. Big old van. Considering they're only going to carry two prisoners, and three, six, nine coppers. That's not a lot of weight. I mean, that's the standard nine seater. I like the interior light. I like those. Yeah. Of course, you've got false seasoning because of the air cons above it. Uh, right, table's missing though, that's the only thing I can see. I can do, do that. Right, let's shut it up. There, yeah, right. Moving on. We got a Citroen again. Well, I should say Mercedes. It's the Vito, isn't it? Oh, on the back of that Sprinter, CBO. There's a fair amount on there. Again, the badges are missing this. That's inevitable, that is. Steel wheels. Mm, grub, the driver seat's very grubby. Let's have a look. Yeah, three seater. Three seater in the back. Very dirty. Load, load anchor points. Yeah, it's been split down the middle. It did have a bulkhead in by the looks. Very poorly done. Yeah, stinks of oil inside. Yeah, I might move on. VW. This is pretty good because he's got the uh, fiberglass roof on him. Extended. Three seater in the front. Another Vito. Oh. Oh, look here. Got an inverter there. A pure sine wave as well. I love that bugger out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So there's some good steel racking in it. There is some good steel racking in it. Looks like the battery's a bit bloody flat though. That, that's only just glowing. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Look. I'm, I'm, I've got a bending head. So it's not bad to the height. I mean, in my van, I even sit down to do the cooking. There's a 12 volt output in the back. So I do like that, and I don't want to have that. Yeah, I don't. I should say he's only a 700 watt plug. Like. But let's have a look at some of the lid. Let's put my coffee down. Oh, tools right. Tool right. Yeah. Oh, well, right. Let's shut that door. And move on to the Vauxhall with glass. That's a sure sign that uh, it's just had an MOT if the seat belts are done up like that across the seats. Is she open? No, she's not open. Right, anyway, you've got glass in the back. Good tyres. Glass in the back windows as well. Can't see. Oh, there is a cage in the back. Yeah. Twin side loading doors. And there's two of them. 
that one's a 63 plate, HPO, and that one's a 62 plate, Jov, J-O-V. Twin side loading doors, this one hasn't got the tinted, still got the cage in the back, yeah, still got a cage, can't see a diesel eater, let's go around, back doors are okay, no glass in the back doors. Tires are a bit keen. Uh, no, I can't see a diesel eater. No, no. Yeah. Right, moving on. We got three ambulances in a row. Ten plate. This one. Very bad example. She's uh, stowed in all the way down this side. Every panel's been hit at the bottom. Every panel. Uh, they, these, are, these are normally open. That is bad. Right. Intake for the diesel heaters there. There's the heater outlets. So, that's a diesel heater outlet. Uh, yeah. Typical ambulances, look. Yeah. There you go. There's a, a small monitor in there for some reason. I don't know what that one's for. Well, that does the recording because uh, the all, all of them they all come with CCTV. So let's uh, see if I can open him. That one did. I can't get that open because uh, us usually if there's CCTV. TV in them. I can see all the wiring up there. Um, but it, if, if there is, come on, you bugger! I can't get him open. So I don't know whether there is CCTV in there. Yeah. Air con on the back on this one. Yeah. There's no air con over the top of the cab. It's in the back. Any like, you know, well, you I expect most of you have been in an ambulance somewhere along the line. <coughs> That's, that is a bad door. There you go. Alright. 59 Blake, this one. And uh, this one's got an uh, even worse problem. That's all the panels are straight, but the glass is broken. So I wouldn't like to touch that, slam the door, or anything. I would have said that's only just been done because otherwise that would have fell out with the rain. This one's on a ten plate, so I'm still drinking my coffee. Bonnet's open. So that's another sign that uh, we've been stood for a while. Bit of grot on that one. Dents in that panel. A lot of tin worm there. Uh, yeah, laid out exactly the same. At least this one's got a radio in it. Uh, right, I'm leaving the ambulances because if anything, it is so far. This one is the only one that uh, is a bit down on the suspension, but that, that as soon as you start them up, the compressor builds it back up. Yeah. Right. Oh, these are the two that the sun in is always on about. A couple of uh, sprinters. Um, There's no registration plate on it, so I won't know until I get to the back. It does say on the internet, I do remember seeing it, but I can't remember what it was. They're ever so tidy on that side. They're medium wheelbase. They're not the extra long ones. No wear in the front seat, but I do believe they're low milers, aren't they? No, nope, he's locked. But this is a, a dog van anyway. This is a You've got uh, six dog kennels in the back. So 
because when the dogs go off at their Christmas party, they can all go together. So that that is. Uh, there's not a blemish on the panels on that one, nor on the other side. Yeah, badges broken. Again, the badges missing on the back doors. Tow bar. Right. We got another uh, sprinter. Same thing. I do believe they're both the same age, if I remember rightly. Nowhere on the seat. Oh, the badge is on the seat on that one. Uh, yeah. This side is as clean as the other one. And uh, it's just got a scratch there. Again, I can't see if there is a diesel eater in it. Because um, it's locked. And... Uh, if there is, I should imagine it'll be in the back of the one of the dog kennels somewhere. Uh, but yeah, that one's quite tidy. Let's have a look at the back. Oh, this one's got the badge already on, but there's one on the seat. It's for the other one. Got to be. Yeah, there's no dents or dings on this side either. No rust. Yeah, no rust. Yeah, still can't see any eaters. Uh, there's no, not even any outlets for one on the floor either. Oh, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Well, both of those, they're the type I'd be going for. So, because there's no registration plates on them, I should imagine you have to apply for that yourself. Well, there's a couple of caravans in. Well, that's not until next week, so I won't film those until next week, because hopefully my caravan's in next week. Right. Got a seven and a half ton truck. Right, we got a transit. Right. He's only a 90. But he wants a new wing. Definitely wants a new wing. Right. This is on a 51 plate. Other than that, I driver's doors, a passenger door's got a dent in it, but otherwise there's no uh, no rust or nothing on it. Looks like the driver's seat might be a little bit worn because of the uh, seat cover on it. That could be just mechanics. No, he's locked. Yeah, just that bit there, let's down. And the fact they peeled the paint and they've de-stickered it. Carry on round it. That one's on a... a He's on a timed auction because uh, it's engine seized. Let's carry on with this one. Still haven't de-stickered the back, but they don't have to with those. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah. There's a dent, dent up on that corner. Uh, right, and then we got another one on a 62 plate. This is the Mark 7. This one's got uh, a fair scuff on, well, I say a fair scuff, it's got, it's got fan ripple on the arch. And the, the tire's dead. He's uh, as well as a good. Otherwise, she's alright there. This is the mess one, this is the mess van. This one's, I remember saying it's got all the uh, stuff in it. And there's the microwave under the side there. Standard in the front. It has got electric windows. I think this one was in last week, but I was, of course I was away last week. Broke, broke the mirror back in. So I can get those for about eight quid, I think. Uh, this is the 100 PS. Yeah, microwave, water heater, night heater. So there is a heater in it. Yeah, I can see the heater now is down there on the floor. And it's Airtronic. Eberspatcher Airtronic. So I'd also say that there's an inverter in there got to be a minimum of a thousand watt inverter because they got uh, 800 watt microwave no he's a 400 watt microwave that one I can see it on the front of him which whereas a pie normally takes a minute you'd have to put it on for three minutes with that one tires are uh, excellent on the front worn out on the back so it's a fair size bloody step on the damn thing been hit a few times by the looks. Right, so that's just got that big dent there. 
Yeah. We'll go back down here. Right. Other side. Yeah. All right, on. Dent on the corner of that one. It's a Renault Master Luton with air air deflection. Hundred and twenty, well, hundred and twenty-one thousand as good as this. Yeah, painted in grey. There's an infamous little tiny van with no end of rust in it. It is. I mean, the other side. I think I can put my hands through the sill. Guideline of 800, no way. Right, we've got a Decato Maxi. That's alright. It's de stick it's the uh, thing's gone where they've de stickled it. Held on with gaffer tape. Gouging the bottom seal. Yeah, that's not too bad though. There's no problems with that. Um 137,000. Hmm. It's not too bad. 120 multi jet. Yeah. All the colouring pigments gone out of the bumper. Wants a new headlight. Things all come off up there. <laughs> that comes off like that because it's a uh, white primer and uh, it's not rubbed down and keyed. They were rub it down. And looking at the stuff on this window, that seems a crime powder, fingerprint powder dust. So, don't know. I'd like to know the history of that. Don't know where it's from. Still hanging down under there. Front wheel arch, inner, inner liners. Anyway, that's on the 57. And it's a Fiat. Citroen Relay. They've been stoved in, they're all pushed in. That's nowhere near how it should be. Lots of little dings and dents all the way down the side. Uh. Uh. Driver seat split and uh, grubby. I did say that uh, it'll depend on how hard they were treated. And it, it, all this is. Uh, Peeling. Yeah, this one's on an 08. Yeah, she's. The door has been forced by the looks. Yeah, the door has been forced because he's away at the top. He's fairly right. Well, he's right there, right all down there. So the door's forced. Wheel arch is missing, and she's got a fair stove in there. That's got to be a three-inch dip. Yeah. Oh, the door's the same on this one. I'll go back. I'm coming back one van. Yeah. The door's barely the same as on that one. So it doesn't say where it's from on there. As I said, he's got hundred and well, as good as hundred and forty uh, thirty eight thousand. They were in last week, well look. Hundred and seventeen on that one. Right, onto the Renault Master. Back doors are dented at the top. Uh, we can quite see it there. Yeah. We'll see stars on it. Good morning. Good morning. Dent in the door there. Yeah, nothing else are up around there. So we've got 146,000. Alright. Yeah. Let's go back to the other side of it to check that. Yeah. Oh, lots of dings and dents all the way down the side of that one. Nothing, nothing too major. Like you know, you, you can see there. There's a. That's been done from inside. It's done from inside the van side. That's the linings come off, isn't it? If there's any lining on it. It looks alright inside. And then we got a an 06 transit. So yeah, he's a Mark 6. I've got a fair dent up on that corner. But that's repairable. You can buy that little panel. Yeah, 
got security locks on it. Absolute waste of time. Big dent there. They pulled the doors down and because the hinges are so low, they prize the top of the door open and bend the door in half. So putting the lock at the bottom of there, and pointless. Exactly the same exactly the same as the side door. They've got it down the bottom, security lock. But they get the top of the door, because there's the hinges in the middle, they get the top of the door and fold the door out. There's no catches in the back. Uh, anyway, a little bit of surface rust on the sill. That is typical of these. But other than that, she's all right. 110,000, yeah, 110,000. I would have had that one, see. It's the one I'd like to get for. Wear on the driver's seat as usual. The fabric in these didn't last long. Uh, well, it's the only iTop Mark 6 in it. One, it's got the 115. Good tyres on the front, not so good on the back. No dents on this side. Just a, a few bush bush scratches. And I got a security lock on the driver's door. Uh, yeah, broken bumper. He's missing out of the bumper. Yeah, other than that big dent up there, that one's not too bad. So that, that's all that's here now. Uh, there is. There's one that's just come in over there, an ambulance. But I don't know whether it's any good. It's on a 10 plate, and it looks like the same John's ones. So whether it's coming in or not, we just don't know. Well then, so, all in all, I think that's about it. Well, I'm going to walk over the office now and find out what they're going to charge me to put my caravan in. And if I can... Uh, bring it in this Thursday, Friday. Uh, I'll leave my car there. I'll catch you in a minute. Oh, there. <coughs>